All I know is when I was 12 years old, I was just I just wanted to be a pro wrestler. So all those guys on TV like, oh, that'd be really cool. And I'm 55 now, and the experiences and the journey that I've taken have been absolutely unbelievable. Things are good, man. We've only just begun. Hitting it all day, hitting it all day. So we're gonna let Sean and John fire a 120-millimeter mortar. Try to see if they can hang with uh, the infantry guys, the skills of the infantry here, to see if they can do the same thing that these guys do for a living. You nervous? A little bit. Hey, it's always gonna be nervous. Fire. Good job. <laughs> yeah! There are times where you have real effect on lives, on people's lives that you have no idea of. <laughs> it's a pleasure for you guys to come out here for us. Well, we appreciate you having us. We won't miss it. People who have watched you again grow up on TV have seen you. Dude, I've been watching you ever since, uh, ever since I was real little. Have somehow connected to you in a way you had no idea. And uh, we're gonna see you guys back home real soon. Take care, guys. Bye-bye. That is awesome. Thank you very much. My pleasure. You made their day. Oh, you pleasure. made their day. That's great. That is great. What makes it meaningful is you going and, and visiting the men and women that are doing something that you could never do. I grew up in a military family. You know, understand that I had a father, brothers, nephews that had a, a deeper understanding and appreciation for the freedom and love that they have in this country. And so going over there, it's just, it is us trying to do our little part. To me, that always made me feel good. Shawn Michaels. Uh, Shawn Michaels. Oh. HBK. Here we are at Randolph Air Force Base, and certainly for me, this is where so much of my life started here. We moved to Randolph when I was 12 years old. This was the last stop on the Hickenbottom worldwide tour of the military lifestyle. At the time we got to Randolph, my father was a, a colonel in the US Air Force. And by this time, my dad wasn't flying anymore. It was mostly administrative work and training. His full name is Michael Sean. Hickenbottom. His first name was taken from a man I worked for, who later became a general in the Air Force, a wonderful man named Mike McCarthy. And I considered him to be the finest leader I ever worked for. I'm very proud of my father, and I'm very proud of the fact that he served this country. You know, before my father passed, I knew he was proud of me. I was able to let my father know everything that he meant to me and how much I admired him as a man. My dad was a man of honor, and I think that's all I try to accomplish now in my life. I didn't know what I mean. I'll never be able to have it on my gravestone like my father does, but it doesn't mean I can't spend the rest of my life aspiring to be that same man of honor, because, you know, he was that man of honor for sure.